Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Derek from Ninja XTX, and welcome to the 97th video in my Life Self Defense series. Now, for the past two installments of this series, I've been covering the Force Continuum. I covered the green level and the yellow level. If you have not seen those, please go back and view those before getting this one so you won't be lost. Today, I'm going to cover the final level, which is red level. Red level is when you've gone through the first two levels and the fight has begun. This is where all your training kicks in, all your... Uh, Muscle memory has to kick in in order for you to survive the fight or the, the confrontation. Um, now, it's also the point where your mind has to kick in because theoretically, when you grab a blade, your first instinct is to cut and cut and cut. Well, or to cut, slash, and do whatever you need to do to survive, which is okay, but you also have to exercise restraint. That's where respect for life comes in as well, because if someone approaches you with malice in their heart and wanting to hurt you, you have to think about, well, how can I neutralize this attack without without killing my attacker? That's where defanging the snake comes in handy because if you if your attacker has a weapon and you cut that hand holding the weapon they're going to focus on that cut or the blood gushing from it. That's the point where you say back off, I could have done more um, but you need to go to the hospital and get that check, checked out or here, now, you need to calm down and I'll look at the cut you get in medical attention because that's part of your training too and it also shows the people around that you exhausted every effort to defuse the situation before there was a situation and then when you finally did have to cut him you made sure he got medical attention that looks good in the eyes of a court of law. That looks good, good morally. Um, just all in all. But the red level is where, as I said, all your training kicks in. But it also, it's also where your adrenaline dumps and your training may kick in, but you may only be able to do um, gross motor movement. Simply because of this. When your adrenaline kicks in, you may not be able to pull off some of the fancy stuff so or the more complicated things so you have to focus on what's quick and what's easy to neutralize your opponent with less effort I hope that made sense if it didn't let me know and I'll be happy to post a breakdown of it in the upcoming installment we have two left after today. Um, 
So if you guys want to see something, let me know. Peace, take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook, please do so there. Thank y'all. Goodbye for now.